Hey everybody, it's Andy Man from Team Tactical Gaming and I'm here to talk to you about the uh, third key that can be used to open the key, uh, sorry, the Infernal Machine and uh, that's found in Act 3 which is uh, Stone Fort and uh, it's basically the quest when you have to open uh, or allow the catapults to be raised to uh, fight the demons from uh, sieging the fort now, you uh, you want to find the key warden whose name is uh, Zarith, and you basically uh, if you if you just do this quest, you're gonna bump into him. Uh, in my other videos, I sort of had a little bit of gameplay footage before, but I actually bumped into him a bit early on this one. Now, um, the most important thing about about uh, getting these keys to drop is you need to make sure that you have level three Nephilim Valor. Uh, on your character and you get that by uh, killing elite groups of enemies um, doing stuff like killing 10 monsters in one blow uh, ma making sure that you've got like some really uh, you know a good amount of, of killing before you encounter these key wardens because if you just encounter them and you have no Nephilim Valor on your guy is, is not going to have enough magic find to make these keys drop uh, if if you notice, uh, Nephilim Valor actually draw, uh, makes your guy have um, more magic find, gold find, and bonus experience. So you want to make sure you have that when you encounter these key wardens or they're not going to drop for you. Um, so yeah, I, I found them a little bit early, but I, I did have a lot of Nephilim Valor already on my character. And the way that I do that is for this level, instead of starting at the part where you have to raise the catapult I start in the quest just before the one where you have to light all the signal fires and I'll do that quest first and then when I come into the quest with the catapult my character's already got like 29 minutes of Nephilim Valor on him so it'll give me lots of time to find this key warden and allow me to kill him which uh, as you can see he's right here and um, I, if I if I try to kill him without it, it's just not going to work for me. So make sure that you uh, you do that ahead of time. This guy's going to die for sure. There we go. And as you can see, the legendary lights coming from the sky. I've got the key of terror right there. My pack is full. So. And then if you go into your bag right there, I've got the Key of Terror. That's the Infernal Machine. I've already made one, but I'm just I'm just going through to collect a few more. And if you guys watch, I've got my, my two other videos that show how to get the first two keys. This is the third key, and then my next video is going to show you guys how to get the uh, plans for the actual Infernal Machine so that your Blacksmith Hydra can actually make them for you. And uh, it, it applies to all of the quests, like I said. Make sure that you, you uh, go to the quest just before the one where you find the Key Warden. Or try to do a lot of monster slaying before you encounter the Key Warden. Because if you don't have that level 3 Nephilim Valor, it's not going to work for you. And if you guys look down at the bottom there, just above my, my health bar, that little square with the number 3 in it, that's the Nephilim Valor... Uh, indicator so that'll tell you that you've got it and just make sure that it's got that three there otherwise these key wardens aren't going to drop for you and I know I'm repeating myself but I've done this many times and this is the only way that I found it worked that I was guaranteed to get the key so heed my advice and this will this process will go a lot faster for you thanks for watching and check out the next video